the shepherd in the valley and I shall not Okay, y'all, so I'm going to do this thing where it's rapid fire. I'm going to call it rapid fire. So um, I have this list of videos that um, I'm to put out because I, I feel very strongly and that God, he wants me to put these videos out. So I'm trying to do a rapid fire and see like um, basically inviting the Holy Spirit into the conversation. So the the, the topic is from... Give me a second. Let me think about it a little bit. It is. I shall not. Want. I guess. I guess. Okay, it'll be that one. Uh, so there's a um one video that I have. One um that I. Okay, the rapid fire, rapid fire. Okay, in the name of Jesus Christ. Being content. There's a verse in Philippians. Um, Philippians four. And I think it goes from 11 to like um, 16. I have it um, in my notes, but obviously I'm recording right now. And um, I'm in the car, so yeah. But um, so being content. See, when we be when we are content, y'all, I'm talking about a true, like true, true contentment. Is where you feel in your body, in your soul, in your innermost being, your spirit, that everything you have, you have all that you need. Everything that you have is all that you need and that you are happy with that. You're not looking to gain more. You're not looking to lose less. You're just happy with what you have. You are happy with the cards that life has dealt you. You are happy with the place you are in your life mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally. Like you're just you're just content. Now, now content does not mean stagnant. Now you're not stagnant, meaning you're not, you're not, um, you haven't grown complacent or you haven't grown comfortable. You're just content with what God has given you as your portion. No longer do you look for things outside of God to satisfy you and to bring you that honor and that joy that only comes from God, that glory that he brings with his presence, that humbleness, that virtue, all of those things. Only when you are truly content, do you expect experience these things and you can say I am content and you will mean it wholeheartedly not just saying I, I'm, I'm content see in Psalms it said the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want meaning the Lord I'm trusting the Lord to shepherd my life meaning I'm trusting the Lord to guide my life I'm trusting the Lord to really direct my paths and I'm trusting the Lord to ha- give me all that I need and supply every need that I have the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want the Lord is my guidance I shall not need any any outside guidance. The Lord is my father. I shall not need any earthly fathers for, for validation. The Lord is, is my God. I will not worship any other gods for no other God before him. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is my redeemer. The Lord is my provider. I don't have to do literally when we get into that that space where we embrace being content and embracing that the Lord is really our shepherd. We, t- we would literally, I, I, in, in, in so many ways, we will literally experience God on so many different levels. Even when we go, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, even when things looking dark, even when things looking evil and scary and unfamiliar, and when things just looking like they're out to get you, we will remember, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Who is with you? The shepherd, your Lord, he is with you in the name of Jesus Christ, and we will be content. In Philippians 4, it speaks on how Paul he spoke he said I've I've learned to be content with all that I have he said I've I've learned to live on much and I've learned to live on little I've accepted my portion in life knowing that God is knowing that God is my provider I it it literally takes so much stress off and and not just saying yeah God is my provider yeah, he might provide. I shall not want. Yeah, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. No, like, but really embracing that and really taking that as truth and really taking it to the bank and cashing it in. Like, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. 
you know, and trusting him wholeheartedly, putting our faith on the see, See, I've been struggling lately, like, and, and I feel like in this rapid fire, I'm going to be speaking, like, a lot about my struggles lately because in these videos that I've posted, I haven't really opened up about who I am. Like, Naisha, who is Naisha? Listen, Naisha is, is, is a woman on a mission. I am a woman on a mission. And on my mission, y'all, yo the the going gets tough it does it does it, it really does but i look back and say every tribulation every problem every heartache every pain everything that i've been through on this earth every little every little miss misstep mishap hiccup hang up any little thing that i've i've went through in my life it will all be worth it when god speaks to me and he says well done good and faithful servant see a woman on a mission but we all have the same mission that we all have have the same mission we all have the same mission we all have the same mission and that mission is is hearing well done good and faithful serving this life it isn't as hard as we make it but it's much more serious than we are taking it see it's not hard because god has given us the the playbook like in, in football or in, in basketball they have the the books or where they have the plays that they're going to run and or, or 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 you know work out and everything and 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 when they follow those 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 steps they tend to be victorious, you know, and, and God has given us the Bible. The Bible is our playbook. He, he tells us how to live righteously. He tells us how to forgive. He, he gives us the blueprint to live in a righteous life, pleasing unto God. So, so the more we get draw closer to God, the more he draws near to us. But the more we draw close to God, also the enemy gets upset, but we're not worried about him getting upset. And that's something that I have to have to take into into my my bank and cash it because i'm not worried about the enemy getting upset like i don't even care no more like <sighs> thank you jesus like i've been really struggling with like with like like man just it's it's been so hard when after after things have been have been placed in 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 the ways that that they've been placed it's been so hard to try to look at the brighter side but god he is making it so much clearer for me each day like now i don't wonder i don't wonder if it's spiritual warfare i know it's spiritual warfare i don't wonder if i'm being attacked i know i'm being attacked i don't wonder if i'm doing good i know i'm doing good because i know that i put my faith in god i put my faith in jesus and i and, and i can just say you know what lord i literally have nothing on this earth nothing my hope in you is the only thing I have. My faith in you is the only thing I have. Bless me, Lord. Please bless me. Bless when I and when I when I say bless me, I'm talking about bless me to know that. Bless me to know that what the words that I'm speaking, that I will believe these words, you know? See, when we think about the word blessing, we always think it's like something tangible. Sometimes that blessing is is here, a, a sound mind, what he's already given us. Not that spirit of fear, but of love and of power. He's already given us the power to overcome every adversity that will throw that will throw itself at us, you know. And and y'all y'all re, like when y'all see this, like just pray for me. Just pray for me. I'm praying for each and every one of y'all. And when I say pray for me, just pray for me the way God wants. You know, pray, pray the Lord's will of my life. Don't pray for me the way you think I need prayer. You know, because sometimes we we pray in hopes of um what we're praying for is what that person need. When when some, when most of the time it's really not because God knows the hearts and He God knows all of us. So when when you pray for me, just pray, Father the lord's will over my life okay pray the lord's will over my life and pray that i am obedient i continue to be obedient to his word and being content and being content in his truth being content in his word being content as as the person that he has called me to be in the name of jesus christ i thank y'all amen